Hello, my name is Jennifer Burley, and I am a PharmD candidate of the class of 2022. And today I will be going over the medication Prozosin, also known as Minipress. I will begin by discussing an overview of Prozosin. Prozosin belongs to the class known as alpha-1 blockers, and it is an antihypertensive medication. Some indications for Prozosin include hypertension. The off-label indications include BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, associated nightmares and sleep disruptions, and Raynaud phenomenon. As I discussed previously, prozosin is an alpha-1 adrenergic receptor blocker. It works by blocking the alpha-1 receptors, which are found in the walls of blood vessels, the prostate, urethra, the iris, dilator muscle, and brain, and it will cause smooth muscle relaxation. These alpha-1 blockers can also decrease blood pressure and also have cognitive effects. Adult dosing for prozosin for the hypertension indication initially will be one milligram oral capsule two or three times daily and then titrate as needed up to 20 milligram daily in two to three divided doses. For the off-label indications such as BPH, you would start at 0.5 to one milligram oral capsule twice daily up to four milligrams per day. For the PTSD-related nightmares and sleep disruptions, initially you would start with one milligram oral capsule at bedtime, and then after two to three days, increase your dose to two milligrams at bedtime, then adjust the dose in one to five increments every seven days, up to a maximum of 50 milligrams per day, based off patient response and tolerability. For the Raynaud phenomenon, Initially, you would do 0.5 to 1 milligram oral capsule once daily at bedtime or 0.5 milligram twice daily and then adjust the dose based off of patient response and tolerability with a maximum up to 12 milligram per day in 2 to 3 divided doses. Zosin is available in oral capsules in brand name Minipress and that is available in 1 milligram, 2 milligram, or 5 milligram. Then the generic is available in one milligram, two milligram, or five milligram. Dosing adjustments for prozosin. For renal, there are no dose adjustments required, but initiating low dosages and titrating with caution is recommended. For hepatic, there are also no dose adjustments required for prozosin. Some common adverse effects of prozosin include dizziness, headache, drowsiness, lack of energy, weakness, heart palpitations, and nausea. Then more serious adverse effects that you would want to report to your doctor would be first dose hypotension, which is where after taking your first dose of your medication, you may feel weak or you may feel a drop in your blood pressure. Orthostatic hypotension, intraoperative floppy iris syndrome, priapism, or syncope. Now I will discuss the warnings, precautions, and contraindications associated with prozosin. The warnings and precautions. The patient should discontinue prozosin if symptoms of angina occur or worsen. And if while taking prozosin, it may cause the CNS depression, which may impair the patient's physical and mental abilities. And if the patient has the condition floppy iris syndrome, it has been observed in patients who are or were previously treated with alpha-1 blockers for cataract surgery, and orthostatic hypotension or syncope, which is a sudden loss of consciousness, has also been observed, especially within 30 to 90 minutes of a first dose of taking prozosin, and sudden loss of consciousness may also be observed if the therapy is interrupted for a few days and if the dose is rapidly increased or if another antihypertensive medication is taken concomitantly with prozosin. Priapism is prolonged erections and priapism has also been reported in patients taking prozosin and if the erection lasts longer than four hours then the patient should seek medical attention immediately. Contraindications to prozosin. There are no known black box warnings associated with prozosin and you should avoid prozosin if the patient has hypersensitivity or prior adverse effects 
to prescription or other medications in the same drug class. Patient education for prescription. Avoid driving or doing other tasks that require mental alertness until you know how the medication will affect you. To reduce your chances of feeling dizzy or passing out, it is recommended to rise slowly if you've been sitting or lying down and be careful when going up and down the stairs while taking prosocin. Be sure to discuss prosocin with your healthcare provider if you're having any eye procedures. Talk to your healthcare provider before drinking alcohol while taking prosocin. Be sure to drink lots of fluids in hot weather while being active to prevent fluid loss while taking prosocin. Tell your healthcare provider if you are or plan on becoming pregnant while taking prosocin. Do not double up on your doses if you forget to take a dose. And discuss any over-the-counter products, including natural products, cough and cold medications, ibuprofen, naproxen, diet pills, stimulants, or any other medications that may raise your blood pressure before you talk to your healthcare provider while you're using prosocin. Monitoring parameters for prosocin include checking your blood pressure regularly, and a targeted blood pressure of less than 130 over 80 is recommended for patients taking prosocin. These are my references. Thank you for listening to my presentation.